Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tawny and this is my first ever YouTube video. I've been trying to start a YouTube channel for so long. I love watching YouTube videos myself and I finally decided to go ahead and make my very first YouTube video. The video that I'm gonna be filming today is a luxury handbag collection video. I don't have the most extensive collection out of all the YouTubers I've seen, but I have a nice little collection that I am very proud of, and I love watching these videos. I know a lot of other girls and guys out there also love watching these videos and learning more about the handbags. So if you enjoy this, please give this a thumbs up and keep watching. The first handbag I'm gonna share with you guys is my first ever luxury designer handbag. And I was so excited to get this handbag. I thought long and hard about what bag I wanted to invest my money in. I was just entering the workforce and I ultimately decided on the Louis Vuitton Speedy B25 in the Demir Eben canvas, which is this really beautiful chocolatey brown checkered canvas with brown treated leather straps. And I decided on this handbag for a number of reasons, but mostly for its functionality and its durability. So I'm gonna give you guys a really brief review on this handbag because I do believe it is a great value for your money if you are looking to step into the luxury handbag world. So basically this handbag holds pretty much everything that I would need on an everyday basis and it does it with room to spare. Inside, you can see it is pretty spacious. I have a whole bunch of stuff in here. I can fit sunglasses, wallet, an umbrella, uh, some bags, like reusable bags, and a water bottle. There's just so much that can fit inside of this bag. It really makes it so, so practical for a long day of being out and about walking through a city, especially if you're traveling, or even if you're just running errands and you need to go to the post office or, to Target to pick up something or to CVS. Um, this really is a wonderful bag that can hold so much. And the reason that I chose it in this combination was because it was so durable. This darker colored canvas, like the monogram canvas, is a really great neutral color that I feel goes with any type of outfit during any season, but more importantly, it will not look damaged if it gets rained on or if something spills on it. You can so easily wipe it away. There also is no color transfer. I wear blue jeans very often, and because it's so dark, you won't see any of that on this kind of bag. And most importantly is the leather straps. So the treated leather straps, as opposed to the Viquetta, for example, with the monogram Speedy from Louis Vuitton, those are untreated straps and they will get stained with water or oil from your hands or lotion, really anything. Even the sun can end up patinaing some of the uh, some of the leather that's most exposed. And I do think that that's a beautiful look, but living in South Florida where I live, it's not the most practical kind of bag. The last point that I wanted to make with this bag is that the strap is a lifesaver, guys. The strap is so crucial for me. I will occasionally put this on my on the crook of my arm or hold it as a top handle if I'm grabbing it really quickly out of the car. But for the most part, I wear this on my shoulder or as a crossbody so I can be completely hands-free. And when I'm shopping in the mall, I don't have to worry about holding a coffee in one hand and hand and uh, shopping bags in the other hand. It, it makes things so easy. And in addition to that, having lived in New York City, I also love the security of this bag which includes this zipper closure. There are two zippers here, and you can even lock them if you want to. They, it, it comes with a lock. I don't have the lock on the bag right now. I keep that in the original box. I don't use it, but that is an option, and I love how nothing can spill out of this bag. You don't have to be worried about anything falling out or anyone having sticky fingers and getting into your bag and 
I've had issues with things falling out of cracks in some of my bags before. So that's why I think that this is the most practical bag that you can buy. And the history behind it is also really pretty amazing. Um, it's, it's a bag that was designed for Audrey Hepburn in the 50s. And I love the fact that it is one of those most classic bags and that it is pretty accessible in, in the realm of uh, luxury handbags. So if you are thinking of a Speedy, I highly recommend the Bandolier Strap, the Damieri Ben Canvas, and I recommend that you go for it because this is an incredible, incredible bag for a pretty casual day-to-day -day lifestyle. So the next bag that I'm going to show you guys is the second luxury handbag that I purchased for myself after my Louis Vuitton Speedy. And this was supposed to be an evening bag, a going out bag, going to the bars, going to dinner, date night, even weddings. And that bag is the Chanel mini flap bag. So this is the Chanel mini square flap bag that I purchased in 2017, this is a pre-loved or a used bag that I got off of Fashion File for a decent discount. And I got this bag because I didn't want to break out the big bucks buying a Chanel bag so soon after starting my career, but I still wanted the look and I loved the I loved this bag in itself. I knew that this would be perfect for me for going out. It's just the perfect amount of fancy but not too mature and not too too fancy that I would feel so nervous wearing it out and about and this one in particular is the square mini flat bag with black caviar leather which is the more durable leather and the shiny gold hardware um, the chain feels so nice and heavy. It's one of my favorite things about this handbag. And the back of the bag also has a very small pocket, which I don't put a whole lot in here. I don't fit my phone in here usually, but I will end up putting like an ID or a credit card. More often than not, I'll put my ID if I'm going to a bar and I just want them to be accessible when I'm going to hand it to a bouncer. So that's pretty useful and then it has the standard turn lock closure and black leather on the inside so i i love this bag like i said it fits it it hangs down to about my hip length it's it's a really beautiful length it's not as long as the rectangular mini flap which is another reason why i liked the sh the, the square flap so much which is nice for me because I am 5'4". It, it fits at a really nice length, crossbody and both on the shoulder. So I love this bag. I wear this bag a lot. Um, unfortunately, I will not be keeping it in my collection for much longer. I'm going to sell this back to Fashion File. If you're interested, you might be able to get your hands on it. But I replaced this with another bag that I am going to show you guys next. So the bag that I decided to replace the squared mini flat bag with is the Chanel small boy bag. And I just picked this bad boy up for the Christmas holiday for myself as a Christmas gift to myself. And this is just a stunning bag. I am so, so happy that I pulled the trigger on this bag. I think I've been thinking about getting this bag for so long uh, because I wanted a version of a small going out black bag for myself that was a little bit newer than the used Chanel one that I had before. I wanted one that I could make my own and have the whole experience of buying it new and just having it be in that really great condition in the beginning. So I ended up going for this one. This is the black quilted caviar leather with matte gold hardware, which just looks so beautiful all together. And it has a metal and leather strap. The leather on the top makes it really comfortable to wear on the shoulder for long nights out, but you can also double up if you don't wanna wear it crossbody or long. You can kind of have it 
be just under the arm, like under the crook of the arm. And that's also a really cute way that I like to wear this bag. The way to open the bag is just press here and it's stuffed right now still, but it's just a flap. There's no a uh, second flap like the classic flap has. So it's just a, a little opening. It fits about the same amount of stuff that the square mini flap fits in it, I will say. But that's enough for me for going out. I only carry my essentials. I usually carry a, my phone, obviously, a few credit cards and my ID and some lip glosses. And I usually keep all of that stuff in a mini pochette to protect the inside of the bag and also to keep things from falling out of this little hole area here. So that is one of the cons of the bag. There is like a little bit of an opening here. It's not as secure as the Speedy is, but for a going out bag, I still love everything about it. I love that it is such a cute small size. I think it's very age appropriate for me and a little bit edgy, which I don't consider myself edgy, but I do love this look. I find that the classic flap, although it is so beautiful, I was actually toying with purchasing that one instead of this one. I just felt that this was a little bit more appropriate for the places that I go to with my friends or go out to bars, clubs, things like that. I, I feel that this is a little bit more appropriate for those kinds of occasions. And maybe when I get older, I will go ahead and add one of the classic flaps to my collection. But for now, I'm so, so happy with this and I'm, I'm really excited to get a lot more use out of this in the future. I've already worn it probably three times and I, I got it about a week ago. So, 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 so happy with this bag. So the fourth and final handbag that I currently have in my handbag collection is the reason why I decided to purchase that black boy bag that you guys just saw. And it is this stunning beige, Chanel boy bag. This is what started my love for the boy bag. And I mean, how could you not? It's so, so beautiful. It's this beautiful, taupey, medium beige color that goes well with so many of my beige shoes or nude colors. And it has this wonderful light gold, shiny hardware. And the leather itself is also caviar leather. I always go for caviar leather because I love the durability. I'm all about practicality and durability and keeping my handbags looking as nice as possible for as long as possible. And I think the caviar leather as opposed to the lambskin leather really helps with that. So I, I just love it so much. This one on the flap, instead of the quilted leather, it actually has the chevron detail, which is really beautiful. I think it's a great way to mix up my handbag collection a little bit. And I think that it's just the most stunning combination I wear this often for holidays actually, but also anytime that I'm wearing a light colored outfit or dresses, usually I'll end up wearing this. And you know, same as the other boy bag that I have, you can wear it crossbody, you can wear it doubled up. It looks again, just so, so cute. Here's a little bit of a close up. And this bag is one of the best beige colors I've seen from Chanel ever. And that's why when I purchased this last summer for my 24th birthday, I just fell in love and I could not leave the store without it. And I couldn't be happier. I get so much use out of this. I probably wear this every other weekend. And I, I love, love, love the look of this. Again, I think it's so age appropriate and adorable. And if you're into the boy bag, I highly recommend looking into this smaller style, especially if you're used to having a smaller handbag or going for mini bags when you go out. I think this is a really, really great option if you want a bag that's not considered a mini bag. So yeah, so this is the last and final handbag of my collection. I hope that you all have enjoyed this video and I hope that if you did enjoy this video that you please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and I will plan to make many more fashion, beauty, lifestyle videos in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.